it's Kristen Steps here again with Zap Diabetes. This is our third episode, and we're focusing again on the 670G insulin pump by Medtronic and the Ascensia Diabetes Care uh, Contour Next Meter. Um, last week, we focused on setting up the initial pump settings and then uh, programming my basal rates. So today, we need to set up the bolus wizard. Um, we're going to go ahead and connect the pump with a reservoir and an infusion set and uh, we're going to sync our uh, contour next meter um, to the insulin pump so let's get started okay so it's time to set up our bolus options so we're going to go to options well options and then we're going to go to i think it was delivery settings yes so we want to go to the bolus estimate setup and if we go there, you can pro program your carb ratio. So the time is okay. Whoop, edit, yep. And then um, minus 10. So it's set to 10. So I'm going to keep that. That actually is correct for me. Oh, there we go. We're going to save it. Change is saved. My carb ratio 10 is saved. Um, the bolus wizard is set to on, so that's awesome. And then insulin sensitivity factor. Um, I need to make this 25. Um, obviously, everybody has their own unique values, but you can go in there, edit the sensitivity to whatever your doctor's recommended. Um, blood sugar targets 100 to 120. Um, this is huge difference here. We're going to edit it. And we're going to do, I want to target 100 to 120. And obviously you also could edit that to your doctor's preferences or your preferences if your doctor allows that. Whatever you um, are instructed to do there. So 100 to 120 is what my old pump was set at, so I'm going to leave it. Uh, that way and I'm gonna edit it here and we're gonna set that up and hit save and active insulin time mine should be set at four hours um, right now it's set at three I think it's really debatable it really depends on the type of insulin you're using and a lot of different factors but go with your doctor's recommendations again uh, my doctor recommends four hours that's what's in my pump so we're gonna save it and the changes are saved. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is uh, I want to add my new meter. And I don't want to do a bolus or enter my blood sugar. I already did the basal, we did the audio options, and we don't have any insulin there yet. So I'm going to go to options and I'm going to go try to figure out where to put the meter. Uh, I think last time it might have been utilities, so I'll check utilities. Airplane mode. I don't have a sensor yet to mess with. Remote bolus. The um, the 2.4 version of the of the um, uh, Contour Next meter has a, a remote bolus option, so um, that'll be really cool. Uh, we are going to go to, let's see, Okay, so we are hitting device options, and we are going to connect the device. Now, um, what I just researched, the auto connect you could use, but it doesn't work correctly if you are in a range of other Medtronic devices. And I have actually multiple uh, Contour Next meters here right now, as well as my... Um, other Medtronic Revel pumps, so we are going to do a manual connect today. And so, enter the device number. This is the same as it was on the Revel. Um, let's see here. Okay. So, I'm going to enter the uh, code that's on the back of my meter. Um, So I'm gonna enter that code that's on the back of my meter real quick, and then I should hit okay. 
Okay, so I've entered the code and now it says new device user guide to connect to new device. Select search below when ready. Um, the device is not powered on. I don't know if it needs powered on or not. We'll hit search. And let's see. I'm going to power it on. If it will power on. There we go. The screen doesn't actually flicker like that. For some reason, it shows up like that on um, the video. I'm going to set it up for English. And we'll hit OK. Would I like to connect to a pump? OK. Select connect device on your pump. OK. And then we did a manual connect. So use pump to enter that number. Hit OK. Select search on your pump and meter. All right, so now it's searching and that's searching. So they're both searching. It says check serial number and try again. We'll retry because I don't think it got it in time. But it's not going to let me. Okay. That's always fun. I wish it would have just left it as it was and give me the option to redo it, but I guess not. So hold on while I re-enter it. Do you want to connect to a mini band pump? I'm going to click OK. So we'll hit that one OK first. And select connect device on your pump. We will do that. We will search, we'll go back, we'll hit OK, we'll hit manual connect, and we already got the number in, so we will search. Now they're both searching. Okay, so now look, it's in there. I got it to work that time. Um, my camera died on my phone, so it didn't show it being just saying successful, but that's all you missed. And it looks like um, we're good now. Do I want to delete device? No, I don't. So I, I think I'm in the wrong thing there. We'll hit back. Back, back, back. Okay, so we're gonna need to fill this with insulin. So we're gonna go to reservoir and tubing and the options. Um, I think I failed to go back to the main screen. There's the main screen. It was options. And then reservoir and tubing. And we have a new reservoir. So, it says remove fusion set from body, remove reservoir from pump, and rewind. Um, there's nothing in there, so we'll rewind it. Rewind complete. Perfect. Okay, so fill the reservoir. I've already done that. Connect the tubing to the reservoir. Do not connect to the body yet. So, I will drop my insulin in there. And we have the quick set that I talked about earlier. Looks like, see if I can get it on there. Oh, let's see. Hard to do with the camera. Hold on. All right, so I have it connected. And we're gonna fill the reservoir, so. Got to make sure that we see the insulin come out of there, obviously. And... Okay, so we have a new reservoir. So we're going to connect tubing to reservoir, but do not connect to body. We're going to hit next. Place reservoir into pump and lock. I did that. Do not connect to body. All right, so we are going to load reservoir. Select load and hold until complete. And then we'll keep our eyes on the prize here. Wait for some insulin to show up. Complete. Is that smart? Hold fill until drop spear. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was a little off there. All right, fill.
Oh, I see drops. Perfect. Next. Insert infusion set in the body. Okay. So this is going to be kind of challenging. Um, I'm just going to connect it to my body. I do not use the little device for that. I actually peel off the sticker and then stick it in my arm. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll get right back on. All right. There it is. Thank you for joining me this week. Um, hopefully that gave you a better idea of how to do the bolus wizard and then uh, syncing your contour next meter with your 670G pump if you are getting one or thinking about getting one. Um, next week I'm going to be doing two videos. I'm going to do a video on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, so far I've just done Thursday. I want to do a video about uh, me and my lifelong journey with type 1 diabetes. So I figured this is the perfect time to do that. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about myself. I wanted to uh, reach out and thanks everybody who's watched so far. Uh, thanks people that commented. Some people have commented and say, hey, watch my uh, videos. I'm going to do that soon. I'm still working on getting the videos up and then I want to connect with all of you. Um, watch your work, share. Please feel free to reach out to me in the comments down below. I may respond as uh, either Zap Diabetes or Kristen Step. Um, that is me. Also, um, you can reach me on Twitter at Kristen Step. And then also, um, let's zap diabetes together. Um, please subscribe so we could share uh, more of these videos. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you next week.